California firefighters are on high alert for more wildfires this morning as parts of the state remain under a critical red flag warning. The Bond Fire, which started last week, has destroyed at least 30 structures. It was spotted by a remote camera network that firefighters use to locate wildfires and dispatch crews. You can see the fire growing in this time-lapse video. Carter Evans shows how the cameras are making a big difference. The massive wildfires that have torn through California burned with an intensity few have seen before. Entire towns overrun by flames, moving at unprecedented speeds, and some barely made it out alive. Every fire that starts has this potential to grow like we've never seen it grow before. Now, firefighters like Cal Fire San Diego Unit Chief Tony Meacham are increasingly turning to a statewide network of nearly 650 fire cameras. As soon as a flare-up is spotted, firefighters remotely control nearby cameras to triangulate its location. When you pinpoint with the cameras where a fire is, how quickly are you acting on that versus without the camera? The things that our fire ground commanders do on the ground that used to take us 20, 30 minutes to get to the fire and make those decisions, now we're doing within seconds. How much of a difference does those first few minutes make? I can't even put it into words. Our dispatchers will start moving additional resources towards a fire before the first fire engines are even on scene asking for that. What we've done is we've built the modern day fire tower. Geologist Neil Driscoll is part of the nonprofit Alert Wildfire. He proposed adding the cameras to a network of remote seismic stations after a close call at his own home. He took us to see one high atop Palomar Mountain in San Diego County at the site of a nearly 100 year old fire tower. On a clear day like this, they can see on the order of about 70 miles. At night, using the near infrared, they can see about 100 to 120 miles. When the lilac fire exploded in San Diego in 2017, commanders were able to watch the fast moving flames on the cameras and quickly determined the engines they dispatched would not be enough. We doubled the initial response that we sent. So we had over 40 fire engines going to the lilac fire within the first 10 minutes before units were even on scene. Did that save lives, do you think? I think it absolutely did. And look towards me. Each camera station is self-sufficient with solar and battery backups and a microwave link transmits the live images, which anyone can watch online along with firefighters. What's it like to watch the fire approaching one of these cameras? You know, it's a little scary. The Lake Napa lightning fire burned right into the camera, and then the image froze of that just orange sky around the camera in the middle of the day. Each camera station can cost up to $40,000, often paid for by funding from the state and local utilities. A small price, according to Chief Meacham. When we measure the cost of wildland fires now, we're measuring in the millions of dollars per day to suppress a fire. So, you know, a thirty dollars or $40,000 camera that can allow us to allocate resources, put that fire out quicker. In the long run, I think we're saving the state money through the camera network. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, San Diego. Thank you, Carter Evans. $40,000, not chump change, but it's certainly money well spent when you see the results.